Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Burlington, Ontario, Canada, and I just found out that I'm bipolar. Uh, found out a couple days ago. It's actually kind of a relief. I find it's actually a really good and a bad thing. Well, more good, I guess. I know now. Um, I guess it's my. I'm in shock, mostly from just trying to settle in on the idea of. You know, I've been kind of undiagnosed with the, and struggling with this for quite some time, basically as long as I can remember, and uh, my life would be very different if you know I had done done things differently. But you know, I, I can't think like that. It doesn't do me any good to think like that. I uh, that's life is the past. I can't really go back and change that. All I can do now is use all the knowledge I have now for the present in the future and try to make as much of, make the best of my life as I can. Uh, but the one re main reason why I am making this video and putting myself out there is you need to talk. I know it sounds kind of, uh, I, I'm not trying to sound to like come off aggressive in saying that, but talking and writing has completely changed my life. Uh, if it wasn't for that, I don't know where I'd be. If I'd be anywhere, I'd probably be six feet under. But those are that's the past, right? So talking and writing helps. It actually it allows you to kind of connect to your thoughts. Uh, I'd always describe myself as my mind would always have all these connections kind of going, bouncing all over the place. And talking and writing really helps getting one message across as opposed to having like 15 things going on that got in my mind at the same time. Now, it's difficult when you have mental problems. It is so incredibly difficult when people want to help you. Um, now, for me, I'm bipolar. I'm, I'm still trying to understand it, still trying to, to learn it. But I know that like my family, they care a lot about me. I love them, don't get me wrong, I love them to death. I, love them to death, I don't want anyone to die for that, but I love them, and I want the best for them, but they want to help me, and when when they try to help me, the feeling that I get, like it just it comes, uh, their urgency and a need to help, so whenever you're really wanting to help someone, you got to remember like your anxieties show in that situation, so you're really just kind of if someone's you're dealing with someone with an anxiety issue and you're coming at them wanting to help but you're all anxious it's not gonna end well right so like I found that out the hard way I I don't trust anyone in my family I don't know how to say that I trust I trust my niece she's four <laughs> she'll be five in a, in a couple of months and like that's that's it so I don't really know what to say it's it's definitely messed with my head. Definitely been a challenge. Uh, you know, mental health, a lot of people just think it's a joke. And you know what, I never took it seriously. I never took myself seriously. I didn't know any better. All right. The one thing, I, you hear people say it, you gotta fake it until you make it. Now if you really want your life to change, and trust me, my life's changed. I've, I, I can go into detail about it later on. But if you really want your life to change, you really need to be able to imagine the life you want to have. And truly imagine. Can you picture the life that you want to have? If you want to lose weight, can you picture yourself standing in the mirror looking damn sexy? And if you want to like eat healthy, can you picture yourself going to the grocery store and going down the produce aisle, getting all the good veggies and getting all the, all the good stuff to eat and kind of avoiding all the, the chips and snacks and all the, all the bad stuff for you? You need to be able to picture it. If you can't picture it, then you can't achieve it. If you dream it, you can achieve it. Look, you're able to do so much if you just kind of put your mind to it. And I, the words can kind of sound silly, but when you, you got to really know that sometimes words can pack a powerful meaning to them, and they can change your life if you hear the right ones at the right time. That kind of just connect to you. It's like when you're listening to a song, how it can. It could just be nothing to you one time, it could just be a, a good beat, but then a different stage in your life you hear it and it just kind of clicks 
and it just takes on a whole new meaning for you because that song just enca encapsulates how you feel at that moment. Right. The one thing with bipolar is we have to deal a lot with our our, our feelings. We got to deal a lot with our emotions. Like there's your manic and there's your depressive states, and you're typically three times more depressed than you are in your manic state. So that's that's not a lot of happiness going on. So it's. For me, I wanted to fight all of it myself. I, I tried to take on as much as I could. I got as as strong as I felt as I possibly could be, could be as strong as I could possibly be. And then I just ended up cracking when I decided to actually try to go into the social world. I didn't understand the social world because I never understood my emotions, never understood my feelings. Never really understood anything, but your entire life can change in an instant. And the key to your life is just talking, is writing, it's communicating, it's making sure that the person that you're talking to gets what you're saying. You gotta really, you know, double check for comprehension. Always make sure that they actually understand. And, and because everyone, no one wants to show. Uh, what's the word? No one wants to show weakness, right? So if you, sometimes you might say something pretty quick, and they'll say, "Yeah, they got it," but they didn't fully understand it. And maybe just taking that extra kind of few seconds really does change your relationship. So that's all I can say for now. Um, on a day like this, oh, watch out for the sun. On a day like this. Enjoy it while you have it, and you know what? Keep your umbrellas handy for those rainy days, because make them yellow, because you can bring your own sunshine.